Hello YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of Excel learning series with Sayyid. In today's episode I will help you with autofill on dates. If you recall from my past videos you will notice that we have used autofill already but that was for text. This lesson is for dates only. So pay attention and let's move on. To follow along with me you can download this workbook using the link in the video description. As always I have two worksheets in this workbook. See it and do it. See it is where I will demonstrate. Do it is for you to practice. Alright to begin let's click on the second row of the first column where it says for the week off. Now imagine you have a report that has to go on a weekly basis and your week may start from Monday. So if I look into the calendar of December the first week starts from 4th of December 2017. So I will go ahead and enter 4th December 2017 and press enter on the keyboard. Now I need to enter another date that is 7 days past this date. So it would be 11th December 2017. Since I am trying to get the series filled with a break of 7 days all I need to do is after entering two dates with a break of 7 days simply click using your left mouse key button and drag it down. Now you can see I have a perfect gap of 7 days between every date and every date is starting from the Monday Monday of every week. So this is how you fill the dates for the weeks. Now imagine you you would not want to have the Saturdays and Sundays you just want the weekday or the working days filled in. How do I do it? Let's see. I enter 4th December 2017 again and this time I will not left click instead I will right click on the drag handle and drag it down. The moment I release my right click there will be a menu popping in that will ask me to select from the listed options. In here I will select weekdays. This way I will have only the working days inside that week. So it would be Monday to Friday every week. If you see I have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 that is Monday to Friday. Then I have Saturday and Sunday skipped that is 9 and 10. Then I have 11. 11 to 15 then 16 and 17 that is Saturday and Sunday skipped. Now I have 18 starting from Monday. So this is how you fill in the working days or the weekdays inside Excel using autofill. How about a monthly report? Say I have a report that has to go out on 11th of every month. So I simply enter 11 December 2017. Now again I right click my mouse on the drag handle and drag it down. This time I will select well months. See that? I have 11th of every month. There is a jump of one month between every date. Now imagine you have a month name that you want to fill in. This is pretty simple. You just enter the first month name and drag it down. So I have month name that is getting dragged down. If I have a month name that I want to abbreviate, so I, I, I simply enter the three letter abbreviation for that month and drag it down. I can drag it the other way around. For example, let me get rid of the first block of this uh, month abbreviation. And here on the August, if I just click on the drag handle and drag it in the reverse order, you can see it fills up the month names in the reverse order. Now, let us try quarters. Quarters are mostly used for financial reports or reports of different types, maybe analytical reports. So how do we fill in? 
we can use quarter one press enter drag this down you can see it takes up the series of four quarters quarter one to four then it again starts from quarter one and goes up to quarter four so this is how it goes for four quarters now if I try QTR1 that is the abbreviation for quarter and drag this down you can see it fills in the quarters for me pretty smooth I can try letter only Q1 and drag this down does the same thing so this is pretty straightforward this is gonna make your work a lot easier when you're working with dates in Excel while working with large sets of data where you require to fill in dates very quickly autofill comes in very handy and will help you speed up your work a lot I hope you find this video helpful in the next video I will show you how to format date and time in standard and custom way don't miss it subscribe to the channel for continued updates and click on the bell icon for notifications thank you and have a wonderful day until next time